Generation Z is really redefining like the entire world. Being an LGBT teen in science right now is kind of lonely. Looking around like science here, wow, there are no other gay people. I'm like, come on guys, science. We can go outside like fashion designing and stuff, really. It doesn't matter like who you like, what gender you are, where you come from, none of that matters. It's just your ideas that should count. I was 14 when I came up with this. I came up with it in my high school biology class after reading dozens of gigantic scientific journals. All these doctors are just like, what's this like 14 year old doing in my lab? People mistook me for like one of the professor's like children. Okay, I'm not being taken very seriously here, but at least I'm here. Wave Created is a new way to detect pancreatic, ovarian, and lung cancer that costs three cents and it takes five minutes to run. It's 168 times faster, over 26,000 times less expensive, and over 400 times more sensitive than our current methods of diagnosis. Science education in the United States is kind of a letdown at the moment. It's every child is interested in science. Every child's curious because that's what science is. It's about discovery, looking for the truth and your curiosity. And schools have really just demolished people's passion for science. They transform it from this cool thing of like investigating these different questions into, hey, let's memorize like 5,000 facts. Creationism, is not science. You have to make science secular because that's what it is. You can't say, well, this is kind of a possibility because we think it is. Like, then that, that's just not science. That's not how it works. Scientific journals should not be locked behind paywalls. And so open access is really about unlocking those. Currently, there is legislation in the Congress called FASTAR. All federally funded research from the top 11 scientific publishers in federally funded research, they would have to deposit all of their research in a public repository after six months. We don't have like these older ideals of like discrimination, those things, those just don't really apply to us because I mean, we live on the internet and on the internet you can't see anything about anyone. You don't know what color they are, you don't know what gender they are. So it's just your ideas and your character that counts. And so that's why I think Generation Z is going to change the world.